From around the world, people have all come together to support Ukraine. And last night in New York City, the opera world took center stage to show their support through the power of music. Here's CBS's Jim Axelrod. It wasn't hard to figure out what was going on at the Metropolitan Opera House in New York last night. We feel that we are not alone, you know. It's the whole world uh, with us. Vladislav Boyalski is a 24-year-old from the coastal city of Berdyansk, now occupied by Russian troops. Not just any 24-year-old, but a bass baritone in the Met's Young Artist Program who led the chorus in the Ukrainian national anthem. The concert was the idea of the Mets general manager, Peter Gell. We're not canceling uh, Russian art. We're, we want to cancel Putin. Is that the maximum on the chorus? Who's taken a strong stand, severing the Mets' ties with supporters of Vladimir Putin, including popular diva Anna Netrebko, a personal friend. No matter how great an artist she is, once uh, Putin uh, started murdering the Ukrainians, it was clear that we couldn't possibly continue with her. The concert was broadcast in Ukraine, where Brielski's mother and grandmother are, with no heat, no electricity, and spotty cell phone service. What happens when she's not able to answer? Oh, it's heartbreaking, you know. Last night, Vlad and 200 of his friends tried to mend those hearts with a call of love they didn't need a phone to make. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, New York.